Hi, welcome to John's Bell Detective Adventures. Here we are today just to talk about some finds. And uh, some finds are probably a lot of detectives have found, which are commemorative or uh, pewter medallions. And I've got, as you can see, quite a few there. And I'm just going to talk about a few of these that give you some sort of information of the period. So not quite sure about this one to be honest. So, some I don't know and some I do. Um, was responsible for something, what I'm not quite sure. I think it's from about 18th century, uh, mid 18 to 19. So that's that one. Do you anybody recognise that? And then we have, uh, I think it's somebody who's responsible for some sort of design of a building to be honest. Anybody knows much about that? But this is massive. Uh, this really blew me head off with the machine, to be honest. I think it's 35, but look at the size of this. Bang! Um, interesting, I'll just turn it round. So it was a pendant of some kind, and, and I think some sort of building there that it was recognised for building or design. I'm not quite sure, really. There you go, that's that one. Th this one, I think, is, is um, William IV, uh, when he got married to his wife. So there's William IV. His wife isn't so clear. But I think this is a medallion or, or, or commemoration medallion of, of, of William of Earth getting married to his to his wife there. And um, there's the crown to represent it, some sort of royalty commemorative. Probably about 1825 or 1826, something like that period. That one. The building, huge size of that. Uh, massive. Still not sure. Um, but if you can read that and message me if you know much about it, because the, the, the wording's not really that clear. Massive. And um, interesting. This one I think is uh, George V uh, commemorating his, him getting married to his wife yet again. George V, about 19, 11, 12, 13, says, get married to his wife. So there's his wife there, the crown on. Um, so George V, another pendant, commemorative pendant, I think it is. Uh, still got the looping at the top there, but that's what that one is. Uh, I think another gentleman on this one, which is uh, probably a local gentleman, um, commemorating something that he did. Not quite sure what he did, but the, the writing's not very clear. So this is like a, a mid, a mid-size pendant. Comparative medal, I'm not quite sure. I think they used to call these Sunday school medallions or commemorative pendants of some kind, around about the 18th century. And then we have, um, I think it's very uh, commemorating the, uh, the marriage of Edward VII and his wife. And that's what that one is. Uh, so that would be 1902 or 1903. Edward VII and his wife there. And the other side is writing information. Can make it out just, but it's something of that of that period. Tells you the date on it. Uh, and this is Victoria. Victoria and uh, when she uh, ascended to uh, to the crown. It's the date of uh, that commemorative period. I think it's 18. 1837 or 1838, I think. Uh, she got Prince Albert next door to her, so that's when she uh, ascended to the uh, to the throne, should I say? And uh, there we are on the other side of that particular pewter medallion. Uh, and then a gentleman there commemorating something. I'm not quite sure what it was. Um, so another commemorative pendant, not in good condition. But it's quite missing, but um, that's the writing. Uh, interesting history, not valuable, but still history of all different levels. Men, mainly royalty, with a few different type of important people. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Cheers, bye.